Bees are remarkable insects that play crucial roles in both natural ecosystems and human agriculture. Their contributions extend from the production of honey to the vital process of pollination, which is essential for the growth of many crops. In this video, we'll delve into the basics of bees, their importance in pollination, and the practices involved in bee farming and honey harvesting. So make sure you subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get regular updates. Let's get started. Bee Biology and Importance in Pollination Honeybees are social insects, living together in a colony, which is like a big family. At the heart of the colony is the queen bee, the only female that mates and lays eggs. She's like the mother of all the bees. Most of the bees in the colony are worker bees, also females, but they don't mate or lay eggs. Instead, they do a lot of jobs in the hive, feeding the babies, keeping them warm, gathering food, and defending the hive. Then there are the males, called drones. They're the brothers of the worker bees and sons of the queen. Drones' main job is to fly out and try to find a queen bee to mate with. If they succeed, they die after mating. If not, the worker bees kick them out of the hive when food gets scarce because drones aren't needed for the hive's survival. This way, the hive can save its precious honey. So, while every bee has a role, it's the queen and the workers that keep the hive buzzing with life. Bees are indispensable pollinators in many ecosystems, aiding in the reproduction of flowering plants. This process is vital for maintaining biodiversity and the health of ecosystems. In agriculture, bees are responsible for pollinating approximately one-third of the food crops consumed by humans. This includes fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds. Without bees, many of these crops would face significant yield reductions, leading to food shortages and economic losses. Now let's discuss the steps involved in bee farming. Step number one, decide on a location for bee farming. Your market research will help you find the best place to start your bee farm, but there are other important factors to consider. First, look for a spot with lots of flowers, especially flowering trees, because bees need plenty of forage. The area should be quiet and away from people and pets to avoid disturbances. It's also important to choose a location far from areas that might be sprayed with pesticides, as these can harm the bees. By ensuring your bee farm is in a suitable location, you'll help your bees thrive and produce more honey. This will set the foundation for a successful and healthy bee farm. Step number two, bees, hives, and stock. Bee colonies and hives are essential for beekeeping. Traditionally, Hives have been made of timber, but now polystyrene and plastic hives are becoming more popular. Plastic hives are lightweight and provide good insulation. You can buy bee colonies in small numbers, but they are often expensive and not always available. For commercial beekeepers, it is better to increase colony numbers by dividing existing hives over several years. It is also possible to buy queen bees of high quality. Skilled beekeepers can breed their queens each year, which helps maintain productive colonies and solve some other issues. Requeening is important because it can make colonies more productive. If you want to import bees, you need a phytosanitary certificate, and you must inform the Department of Agriculture, Food, and the Marine before bringing them into the country. Step number three, honey extraction. To get honey from the comb, machines spin the frames, but first, you need to take off the wax cap on top of the honeycomb. These machines use spinning power to pull the honey out of the frames. Sometimes, everything is automated, but still, a lot of labor is needed. We need to harvest the honey from cells covered in wax caps because this makes sure the honey has the right amount of water. If honey is taken before it's capped, it might start to go bad. But in some situations, honey can be collected from cells that aren't capped. To check if the honey is just right, there are many tools available in the market, such as honey refractometers, which can be bought online or from beekeeping stores, are good for this job. The moisture level in the honey should be between 17% and 21%, so it's essential to do these checks to make sure the honey is good to use. Step number four, honey processing. After honey extraction, it's stored in sealed containers for later processing. This might involve mixing honey from different batches or places to make it all the same. Honey naturally becomes solid and might need to be warmed up for a few days before putting it in bottles. You can bottle honey by hand or by using machines. When extracting and processing honey, it's important to keep everything clean. 
Having a special place just for working with honey, called the honey house, is helpful. This helps meet rules about handling food and makes sure the honey is good quality. The rooms where honey is processed should be bright and have good insulation. They should be easy to clean, with washable walls, floors, and ceilings. You'll need enough space to store and move a large number of boxes and equipment. Beekeepers must adhere to strict food production and labeling regulations. Step number 5. Post-harvest care for bees. Once you've created your bee nests, you must make an effort to care for your bee colonies. Make sure you understand the numerous pests and diseases that can harm honeybees, as well as how to avoid them. While maintaining your hives requires effort, experts estimate that it may be done in as little as a half hour per week or 15 to 30 hours per year. Biological solutions include introducing predator insects or fungi that kill pests while avoiding injuring bees. Mechanical controls include regular hive inspections, physical pest eradication, and the use of screen bottom boards to limit mite populations. Chemical treatments, such as organic acids and essential oils, can be used sparingly to control infestations. Modern beekeeping is more efficient because of technological improvements. This step entails researching and implementing beekeeping advancements such as hive monitoring systems, automated honey extractors, and beekeeping apps. These technologies can help to track hive health, streamline the harvesting process, and efficiently manage your apiary. Step number six, establish a breeding program. After setting up your bee farm, consider starting a breeding program. Establishing a breeding program is crucial for beekeepers looking to improve the genetics and traits of their bee colonies. A breeding program involves selecting the best performing colonies based on traits such as honey production, disease resistance, and temperament. Beekeepers may use methods such as artificial insemination or selective breeding to propagate desirable traits. By systematically selecting and mating queen bees with desirable characteristics, beekeepers can create lines of bees better suited to their specific needs and environmental conditions. Additionally, breeding programs play a vital role in conserving genetic diversity within bee populations, which is essential for the long-term health and resilience of honeybee populations worldwide. There is a high demand for quality breeding queens and drones in the beekeeping community. By offering strong healthy bees, you can help other beekeepers improve their colonies as well. Biggest producers of honey, China, Turkey, Iran, and the European Union stand out as some of the largest honey producers globally. China, in particular, leads the pack by producing over 500,000 tons of honey annually, surpassing the output of Europe. The European Union is noted as the second largest honey producer, generating over 235,000 tons of honey each year. Turkey and Iran also play significant roles in honey production, with Turkey being the second largest producer in the world. In the United States, honey production in 2023 saw a slight decrease, totaling 125 million pounds, with 2.67 million colonies producing honey. Despite the slight decline, the honey industry remains robust in the U.S. These countries, along with China, Turkey, Iran, and the European Union, contribute significantly to the global honey industry, emphasizing the economic importance of bee farming and honey production worldwide. I hope you have enjoyed watching the video. If you have any questions, you can ask in the comment section below. Like and share the video and follow us for more amazing updates. Thanks for watching.